Hello everyone, welcome to another haul video. This is your Hot Wheels collector here, coming to you with another haul video from Target. <clears throat> Target had some new Hot Wheels, so this is what I got. Uh, first one in this episode would be a Nissan Patrol Custom. It's actually a really cool Nissan. It's from the uh, J Imports series of new to 2023. This patrol custom comes with a standard height uh, suspension system for the uh, SUV, and it has a nice design to it, classic design to it, to be exact. Uh, with the orange and red stripes on the side and it has like a t creamy white color to it. It's actually a really cool design. For a 2023 series. The uh, next car in the series is a 1968 Dodge Dart. This is from the art series. I believe it's from this year. I'm not certainly sure. But this dart is actually really cool design looking. And it has a cool looking uh, design to it as well with the uh, classic cartoon style design to it. It has uh, the word dart on the one side and I think dodge on the other. And it has the letter U up on top, so it's actually a really cool design for it. The uh, next car that I got is a Da Vinci Valence. I know I'm pronouncing the car wrong, but this time it's in green. This car's design is actually a classic uh, drifting design. It's also part of the Daredevil design for it, but it's also a cool looking um, rally car slash drift car slash Daredevil car. It's actually a really cool design and classic colored design as well to it, with uh, it being green with the red and white stripes on it. It's actually a really cool design. The uh, next car in this series is the Coupe Clip. This is the third edition to the Coupe Clip. First one was the silver design, then the second one was a red design, and then now they have a black and gold design. This black and gold design style is actually a really cool design. And, it, and I like it pretty much. I might actually add this straight to my keys once we're done with this video because this is actually a really cool design. The uh, next car in this series is a Subaru WRX STI. This is from the J Imports design. And I like collecting Subarus as well because they're really cool looking cars. So this is what the Subaru looks like with the blue design. It does not have any headlights or taillights to it, but it has a uh, nice white rims to, to come off on. And Well, actually, no, it does have headlights to it, so it doesn't have taillights, but it does have headlights and the uh, Subaru logo on the front. But the back is not designed. So overall, it's actually a pretty cool looking car. The uh, next car in the series is called Max Steel. This one is from this year. Similar to the one that they had last year, which was the blue design. This one is in the white design. And I actually do like this Roadster type of design to it. The Roadster design to this Max Steel 
is with a white design with red stripes on it and it has the number 28 on the side it's actually a really cool looking design with the uh, chrome style uh, exhaust ports on the side and a chrome uh, intake fan in the front it's actually a pretty cool looking design to it the uh, next car that we have in this episode would be the fast bed hauler Fastbed hauler is a uh, tow truck designed uh, Hot Wheels that does have a special feature to it. It allows the uh, back to be lowered so you can add on vehicles to it. So we'll use the. I mean, it to roll off. We'll use the Max Steel as an example for it that can tow vehicles on it. It's actually a really cool design to it as well for the uh, fast bed hauler. The Max Steel does not fit properly on the hauler, but it is actually a pretty cool design for it. I think it won't be the proper way to put the car on there. Like I said, the, the sorry for the inconvenience of the thing going flying off the turntable. I'm trying to get so that the car can fit on here. So the Max Steel is not the proper size for this hauler, but the overall the hauler is actually pretty cool looking. And I like the classic design that it has to it with the blue and the white to it. And it is actually really cool with the classic chrome front end. It's actually a really cool design. And I like it pretty much. The uh, next car in the series is going to be a another art car. This is the 1976 Greenwood Corvette. This Corvette is actually really cool design looking, and I like the style of Corvettes. They're actually really fun to collect, and this one doesn't disappoint me at all. With the dragon style art design on the side of it, and it is actually a really cool looking Corvette all together. With the uh, tan color with the red and gold uh, design to it. It's actually really cool with the letter G up on top as well. The uh, next car that we have is from the Surf Up. Surf's Up. This is the Surfing School Bus. Surfing School Bus is actually a fun design that they came out with a couple years ago. And it's been one of my favorites to collect. I collected a couple of these over the times and they're actually really fun to collect because they're kind of cool classic bus style designs to it. And I like them very much so even though that they came out with the city bus this one is actually like more like a classic 1950s 60s style bus that's customized and it's actually a really fun thing fun car to have in your collection. The uh, next two cars are actually one is an experimental and the other one is a sweet ride. These two I got because they are actually kind of funny looking to look at but they're actually really cool designs. First one I'm going to show you is from the sweet rides. This one is called the dessert drifter. This one I remember I don't really collect the sweet designs because they're not too much of appealing to me, but this one actually did, and this one was actually kind of funny to look at. It's supposed to represent like a uh, key lime jello 
and it is actually really funny to just see in general. I mean, you don't normally see something like that in the regular collection. And I'm like, well, might as well see what it has. It doesn't have any special features to it. It's just a jello car is pretty much what it is. But overall, I like the color and I like the design to it. And I like that it also has a lime wedge up on top. It's actually a fun car to look at. And then the last one that I got is from the uh, Experiment series. This one is called the Dragon Wagon. The Dragon Wagon is like a standard red wagon that, that we all grew up having while we were a kid. Just modified into a Hot Wheel and added an engine to the back and a wing to the back of it. It's actually a fun looking vehicle and I enjoy collecting cars like this because you know they're different and different is always good in some senses so um, if you like what you saw and you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to hit the plus sign and leave a comment if you would like to um, thank you for watching y'all have a good day now bye